Hey everyone, thank you for watching and welcome to my music education channel. So after a little bit of a break uh, due to a high level of uh, new students that I had in my studio, I'm finally back on YouTube with a new series of videos that are going to help parents help their kids at home with music education. Now that's one of the things that I find that parents struggle the most is understanding the concepts to help their kids at home. Kids need help with their worksheets and parents sometimes struggle with the music part of uh, their kids' education and learning. Now, the more that your child can understand their musical concepts, the better their musical experience will be and the faster they'll learn. So if you're able to help them at home a little bit, it will actually make their experience a lot more rewarding and fruitful. So with this series of uh, videos, I really want to help you help your kids at home with my resources and work packs. And simply all you have to do is download from the link this pack, which today we're going to focus on uh, identifying the notes of the treble and bass clef. It's a simple uh, pack of 45 worksheets. There are flashcards included as well as posters and cheat sheets that can help them. And there's an answer sheet included also in a separate link. All you have to do is download the sheets and in the next part of the video, you can actually see me explain how to use these worksheets uh, so you can do them at home. So stay tuned, um, continue watching the video and I'll explain them. So everyone, in this part of the video, I'm going to explain these worksheets, which are super easy to use, super simple. Any kid can do them. Um, <clears throat> just ignore this black frame that uh, printed over the logo. For some reason, my printer decided to do that. Uh, that shouldn't happen on yours. On my other laser printers, this is not happening. So anyway, we'll start with uh, here with the music alphabet. Uh, this is just a correlation between the do, re, mi, and the A, B, C. So all the kids have to do is just draw a line from C to Do and so on and then the next letter D to Re etc so they can learn the Do Re Mi to the A B C here with the musical alphabet just imagine these are the piano keys where the ones at the bottom are the white keys and the top are the black keys so all they need to do is fill in the blanks C D E F G A B and then on the top we have either C sharp or D flat and so on and remember that there is an answer sheet to this, so you can download the answer sheet to make sure it's easier for you. Now here, this is one of the best uh, cheat sheets I have in this book. It's easy to use. It has all the notes of the grand stave or staff, the treble clef, the lines and spaces, and the bass clef, the lines and spaces. They can use this sheet to help them work out the rest of uh, the worksheets. Now with the treble clef, the, one of the first sheets we have is, uh, we've got another one here that they can use to help them with the names of the notes of the lines and spaces in the treble clef. With this uh, worksheet, they have to write the names of the lines of the treble clef and the spaces. And the next worksheet also has a similar idea. What they have to do is do the same, however, create their own mnemonic. So to create a word and sentence to help them remember the, the names of the lines and of the spaces. I'm sure you know um, every good boy deserves fruit. They can use that one or make their own up. That'd be great. Now, same here, we've got the notes of the lines on the treble clef, and we have uh, the next one is the notes of the, uh, uh, the notes of the treble clef, but the spaces. There's a ledger line sheet that goes up just a few, so two up and two down. Uh, this one has it's just above the second ledger line. Uh, they should be able to work this out by counting up. Now this sheet, they need to draw semi-breves on the lines or spaces indicated by the note name on the bottom. If there's repeated notes, make sure that they use an, uh, another octave. Yeah, so a D down here and a D on that fourth line. Be good. This worksheet, they need to pretend that they're a teacher and correct if the names of the, line, the, the notes on the bottom are correct. If it's correct, like this one's incorrect, it should be a C, cross it out and write a C. And then we have a test to see how fast they can uh, name the notes and so on. Then all those worksheets are re repeated on the bass clef. It's the same type of worksheets, just for the bass clef. Then if we go a bit further back, we have a worksheet that's line or space. They need to tick the box that corresponds to the, the note that's on either a space or a line. In this case, a space, so they tick that. In this case, a line, so they tick that. There's a little help here. <clears throat> the next one is to number the lines and spaces. Which number line is that note on? Okay, so that's on one, that's on three, and so on. That's what I'm going to do. Now, with this one, it's just talking about skips and steps to then help them initiate them in maybe semitones and tones concepts. So, with this here, they have to do as a skip because it goes from line 
to is there a space to line and so on. Here's space to space, so that means to skip. So I just tick this the skip box. Okay. Uh, with this one, what they need to do is draw the note that uh, corresponds to this. So for example, here the the note is D. Just above middle C, they need to draw that note on the stave and so on with the rest. The same thing happens here with the black keys. They can either draw sharp or flat, whichever works for them or both. Now, in this one, they need to name the key that's in green. Okay, if it's a black key, just uh, make them name both. For example, this is F sharp and G flat. This is a similar exercise, but they need to color in uh, the note name. Okay, same with this one and so on. Here with the black keys, they're actually asking you to name both, the, the, if it's a sharp or a flat. Then we get to the flashcards. Now there's a, lot, a set of flashcards here that they can cut out and use to help them name the notes. Anyway, I hope this um, pack of sheets is useful for you. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment and uh, click the bell so you can know when I upload a new video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be creating lots of worksheets and resources for parents and students and teachers to help you have a better learning mutual experience. Thanks for watching and see you soon.